Hey everybody, Jonathan here, and I'm going to show you how we replaced our backyard lawn with fresh grass sod. So you can see here the grass is majority dead, um, little spots that are green and some, uh, some spots that were, they looked fine. But uh, what happened is I accidentally turned off the sprinkler system for about five days and it was fresh grass sod that was laid already. Um, before we moved into this house and the grass died pretty fast in the middle of summer Also, we had some bunnies that were getting in the yard and just pooping peeing and eating the grass and uh, that wasn't helping either so I laid down a um, Like a metal wire at the bottom of, along our entire fence to keep them out And then next we had squirrels that were getting into your um, into the yard and digging holes and burying nuts and whatever else they would bring in the yard so what I decided to do is rake up the yard, the dead grass, lay seeds, topsoil and fertilizer and all that stuff. And it would grow, but it just wouldn't grow enough to where I was satisfied. So after multiple attempts of trying to grow grass, um, I just, you know, decided let's cut out all the old sod and let's lay down fresh sod and let's, you know, make it easier. So I rented a, uh, sorry, I rented a sod cutter from our local hardware store. And uh, that's the best thing you could ever do if you want to just cut out your grass really quick. If you don't have any giant machinery um, that can just, you know, just get it out faster. This is the easiest thing to use, the sod cutter. Um, I do recommend you get the sod cutter that has the wheel that turns in the back so you can just turn and keep going um, but they already rented it out to someone else at that time so i had to just use what they had uh, it cost less than 100 bucks to rent it for four hours and that was all the time that we needed and you can just roll up the dirt and i'm sorry yeah the dirt and the the old sod and just store it away to the side um, until you have it removed now i recommend you lay a tarp down before you lay some sod wherever you store it at for the moment until it's removed you know, that's just a tip for easier cleanup. Now, um, what I also rented was a midsize tiller. Um, it's a Honda. Now, I really like the, the, the tiller. That was great. Now, you can see I'm kind of just going over the upper left-hand corner. There's some existing grass right there. That's actually grass that I tried to grow, and it, it was okay to just till it into the ground. Um, it wasn't going to hurt at all. So our soil at you know, in our location is like clay. So it's really hard. So I had to make sure I watered it a few days before or the day before. And you know, it was still really hard. And so you're going to see I'm just going back and forth with this thing and just cutting out as much as I could. Now, uh, here's what it looks like after we removed everything. Here's all the old sod. And then here's some more dirt and sod on the sides. And then on this part of the video, I'm actually raising the sprinkler head because it was too low. Um, it caused a dip in the, uh, in the dirt and I wanted it level. So I had to bring it up and I wanted all the sod to be as level as possible. Now in this video, I forgot to record the, the night before. We actually had soil amendments delivered about one yard and you can see it in the color of the dirt. It's got that um, like that reddish brownish color uh, and we already laid it out and smoothed it out. And you're gonna see I'm just tilling it into the ground about four to six inches because uh, you want to have proper drainage for your newly laid sod grass um, or grass sod, I'm sorry, grass sod. So uh, I ran into a few more tree roots and I was trying to get them all out of there. And my wife is helping me. She's trying to level out the ground and And you can see uh, we're just leveling it as much as possible. And then we got a roller. Our neighbor actually had one and he let us use it, which was really nice of him to do that. Now, this is the one that you just fill up with water. Now, you're going to see in the video, we used the roller several times. We went back and forth many, many times. Now, the only reason we did that is because... Uh, we weren't able to prepare the lawn a few days before. 
They say that you need to level out the ground as much as possible with soil amendments after you tell them, level it out, water it, so that way the ground will you know settle. Then the day that you're going to start laying out the sod, you use the roller back and forth one or two times and you're just going to fix any, um, I guess you could say defects, like parts that are not level. So this is after we did everything. And you can see uh, we're just preparing the ground, fixing any defects that we see, any little hills or anything like that. And then next, they also gave me a um, the company that we got the sod from. It's called Pacific Sod. They delivered to us 500 square feet of, so of sod, and you can see it here. Um, they're based in Ventura County, California. They also gave me a starter fertilizer and a spreader to just spread out the entire dirt before we laid down the sod. Uh, that just helps promote the roots to get down into the soil. Now, make sure you stagger your sod and also you just kind of mist it, get it a little bit wet after you lay maybe um, maybe about like 15 pieces, I guess you could say, 10 or 15 pieces. Um, just that way it doesn't dry out because, you know, it is just sitting in the sun once you take them off of the pallet. And you can see we're just staggering them. That way none of the... Um, none of the joints or don't make a straight line because you don't want water to just run or get stuck in a straight line. That And also it makes it look more, uh, more professional too when you stagger them like this. And you're going to see, you can see the squares right now, but just watch. It's, they're going to disappear really fast. We also make sure that we put them as close together as possible. Like we, you know, we really press them together so there won't be any gaps anywhere. As you can see, we're almost done. Just getting up there. We're already exhausted. <laughs> we couldn't believe that we actually were doing it. You know, this is the first time. Now, we watered it, and I was just making some adjustments to the sprinklers. And then I used the roller again just to make sure that there's good soil contact with the ground and the sod. And then I watered it for the, uh, the first long water. Now, they say you want to water it for about 20 minutes. Um, here's day one. And you can see the squares. You can see the lines for now. And day two. Look at that. That's just beautiful. There's day five. Now, they say that you want to water it uh, at this one. You know, for the first two weeks, you want to water it three times a day, maybe about 20 minutes uh, each time because you want it to be super, super wet. You want it to stay wet. You want to make sure it never dries out. And then after two weeks, you can just go back to a regular schedule. Look at that. You can see the lines are going away. Look how tall it already grew. It's amazing in just 11 days. Here's the first cut. This is 16 days later. I mean, it's long. Look at that. <laughs> And look at that, that's perfect. You know, you can see the, the lines from the lawnmower, but that's it. You can't see any of the lines from when we laid it down. Look how great that looks. So, um, you know, here's what it looks like uh, today. This is about two, two and a half months later, three months, I would say. And um, the color, that's just the sun, the lighting, but it is all green. There is no dead spots anywhere. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, you know, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel as I do have some more videos of just random things that I do or unbox or uh, fix or repair or replace. Um, thanks again for watching and have a good one.